Hi, everyone. This is Professor Moffat Bateau in Politics 409 uh, Research and Government. And this is going to be a short video, I promise, about uh, more specifically about coding and what that looks like. Uh, the program that you're looking at right now is called Deduce. Uh, it's a very accessible uh, software that you can get online. You just go to deduce.com. As you can see, it's spelled here, D-E-D-O-O-S-E. -O -O -E. I'll also create a link in the uh, description box below. Um, <clears throat> so if you decide to do some kind of textual analysis, that could be doing a content analysis of different newspaper articles. It could be a contextual analysis of interviews, right? So if you do interviews, you must record them and then you must transcribe them, right? And all of this textual analysis requires to do, you to do what we talked about in video two and three, which is a form of coding, right? And so essentially coding are is using a set of thematic elements in order to um, kind of get a sense of what issues are most at play in your work right so the way in which this works is you would read all of your text first so you'd listen to your interviews transcribe them and then read the transcripts right even though you have transcribed them i promise you there's going to be a lot of stuff you've missed once you actually read them word for word right same with your newspaper articles right say you have decided you're going to do some kind of content or textual analysis you're going to set up lexis nexus for with your search uh parameters you're going to uh, set up your process for randomly choosing which uh, sections or which uh, articles you're going to pull out. You're going to um, then take those articles, uh, turn them into PDFs, and load them into Deduce, right? Deduce, last time I checked, was about $12 a month. And what's great about them is they only charge you on the months that you actually sign up right? Make sure you check these details before you uh, sign up. I have not actually checked the details in a long time, but last time I checked about last year, that was uh, still how they were operating, right? Okay, so once you upload these things into Deduce, you should have a good sense of some of the primary themes that are coming up over and over and over again in your work, right? And so for me, right, these are the initial themes that I put into my work, right? And so into my coding um, kind of section, right? And this is not gonna be a tutorial how to use Deduce. There are plenty of videos that Deduce themselves have created, but you'll go into this section here, you'll add in your Deduce, your codes, or you'll, you know, can create a root code, which is what these primary codes are, right? These root codes are kind of the big umbrella codes that I see over and over again. And so something that I realized that folks were talking about a lot is belonging, crime and violence, right? Basic demographics, right? And so as you can see, every time I put my um, cursor on one of these, a description of what that code was shows up, right? And so this is really important so that you yourself can be consistent in your coding, right? And so I defined belonging as this, this code signals when the respondent is discussing a sense of belonging. So this could be belonging within the Alkale community, but it could also be in Chicago, the United States, or the individual's family, right? Isolation and loneliness, right? Here, the respondent is describing isolation from the community and or feelings of loneliness that result from living in Alkale, right? Uh, relationships. And so relationships is a, is a root code. If I open it, these are the subcodes, right? So anytime they're talking about family, in times they're talking about friendships with neighbors, uh, information dissemination through networks, interpersonal conf conflict, social networks, right? These are all things that I would use um, to label these things with, right? So here M is talking about what do they like about living in 
outfield, right? And so they say, I was raised out here. When I come out here, it was so beautiful. I didn't want to leave. Uh, I raised my kids out here. I think I did a pretty good job because my son works for the state and my daughter's going to school right now. Uh, she has a daughter coming out of high school and another daughter came out of high school going to the Air Force and then she had a baby. He's in all kinds of sensitivities, but they're not out here anymore. Uh, she chose not to raise her kids out here because she saw the change. Um, and then he, she goes on to talk about what I don't like. Um, I don't like how the parents don't teach their children from home. They just send them out in the street with no guidance. Then they have no morals and no respect. One way I want to stay and another way I want to leave. But I refuse to let someone else come in from other communities and run me out of my community. So the way I might label this, right, is I will highlight it, right? And then I might label it um, using any number of codes, right? And so I might first use one of the subcodes under demographics and label it as children. And so I just double click that here, right? And to be clear, I just highlighted this and then I left clicked and then this uh, came up, right? And I might also highlight a root code of a sense of belonging, right? Because they like living here, right? Um, they're an older resident, so I might click it, click here, right? Um, and I might uh, think about, uh, you know, family friend reaction to Elk Yield, about their, their children left the community, right? And so this way, um, anytime, so if I get to the end of coding all of my interviews, right, there's some 30 interviews in this, uh, in this project, I get to the interview, end of the interview, and I realize, like, you know what, belonging came up over and over and over again, right? Actually, I don't even have to guess how many times belonging came up, because I can click on it, and I can see how many times belonging came up, right? And so deduce will allow me to see how many times belonging came up how it was in combination with other things, right? Here, right, they're talking about participating in a political organization, right? And so I highlighted it, I left click it, I'm gonna add a code, right? And then I'm gonna scroll down to talk about uh, like a visible political possible self. So that means a, a visible political uh, engagement, right? I might also talk about um, social networks, right? Because they're in a couple of organizations. Um, and then traditional political engagement, right? And so again, you know, I have these codes and then when I go back to the home screen, right? I can click on any of these here, right? So maybe I wanna look at um, crime and violence. And I'm going to click on this uh, symbol here. And this is going to show me every single excerpt from every single interview that mentioned crime and violence, right? So here I click on this one. And they tell me I don't like the police. Um, you know, uh, they treat everyone the same, like everyone is uh, selling drugs. Uh, if you're going through their crown and they're coming in to get them, they're going to throw you up against that wall too, or everybody in the store, uh, you know, and I don't think that's fair because not everybody is doing that, right? So when I see them coming, I'm gone, right? I see them pull up and I'm out of here. I come in the house. I know what they be about, so I don't mess with them, right? Talking about the police. Um, I can scroll down further and I can click down here. why isn't it coming up? <laughs> of course, when you want to do a video, that's when none of this stuff works, right? Okay, so she said, I can also just hover over it, thankfully, and it'll come up. So she says, I was on the computer, my boys were sitting back there, and their friend was sitting back there, and another dude was running from the police outside. 
my door was running, was open. So he ran through my house, ran from the back to the front and the police chased him through my house. And I'm on the computer and I don't know what's going on, right? So all of these excerpts are about the ways in which violence showed up in these folks' lives in various ways, right? Um, and these are the specific interviews where these themes came up. And so, um, it's a incredible, oh, here's the, here's the clip, right? Uh, and so they go on to throw her children up against the wall, right? And she's incredibly upset because they were just sitting in the house playing on the computer, right? And so this has everything to do with crime and violence, police and power, right? Those are the codes that I've attached to this, right? And so coding is, is a very simple idea, right? But it's complicated in the sense that you really need to think it through because if you add like 50 codes, <laughs> right, it's not going to be that useful for you, right? These codes are only useful to you to the extent that you think carefully through them um, and actually pick them judiciously and then selectively apply them so that when you um, click on them, you actually get uh, a really good uh, quotes and things that you can pull on to make your point, right? And so I clicked on the fear code here, right? And I asked her to describe her experience living in Elkdale. And she says, I described my experience as a place where it's set up to fail. It's a, a failure, right? Um, you know, and it's like, it's, it's, it's all of a sudden, it's like one of those jobs that you get, you can stay here three months and you don't do it. So a job that you get that's keeping you in line where you're going to work for a year, it's cool. But when they come and you're trying to go out and get something for yourself, they're not for it. They won't help you in no kind of way, right? My experience is to me, a set up uh, who you know and who you don't know. If you don't know the right people, you're not going nowhere and that's it, right? And so this is fear, perception of outgaled power, political language, right? And so again, be judicious with the codes that you select. Um, be the more selective you are, uh, the better off you'll see, right? These are, you can set these matrices all different up kinds of ways so that you can see um, what kind of codes tend to interact with others, like how many interviews, like 43, apparently that's the, the uh, code that that's the interview where I use the most codes on right you can see the interviews where I, I use fewer codes <clears throat> so uh you know this is a test sample and so I think I only used about 10 of these to show you guys so uh you know deduce is a really good software for this atlas ti is another software that you could use it's more expensive uh, and I'm sure there's other new softwares that I'm just not aware for aware, but you can add, honestly, you could do the same thing with a word document. You could print this stuff out and do it with a highlighter and label it. Uh, the old school anthropologists used to print these interviews out and cut out the sections and put them in piles like this one's the fear pile. This one's the anger pile. Right. And so there's all different ways in which you can do this. The point is, is that um, when you're doing kind of textual analysis, you want to really be clear about, again, why you're using these codes, how you're defining the codes, and then being selective with how you're applying them. All right. I hope this helps as you all get ready to start collecting your own data and thinking about what that can look like. Uh, if you have any other questions, please be sure to let me know. Okay, good luck. <laughs>